The Grand Slam tournaments, also called majors, are the four most important annual tennis events. They offer the most ranking points, prize money, and public and media attention. The greatest strength and size of field. And greater number of best of sets for men. The Grand Slam itinerary consists of the Australian Open in mid-January, the French Open in mid-June, Wimbledon in June-July, and the US Open in August-September. Each tournament is played over a period of two weeks. The Australian and US tournaments are played on hard courts, the French on clay, and Wimbledon on grass. Wimbledon is the oldest, founded in 1877, followed by the US in 1881, the French in 1891, and the Australian in 1905. However, of these four, only Wimbledon was a major before 1924-25, the time when all four became designated Grand Slam tournaments. The term Grand Slam also, and originally, refers to the achievement of winning all four major championships in a single calendar year within one of the five disciplines, men's and women's singles. Men's, women's, and mixed doubles. In doubles, one team may accomplish a Grand Slam playing together or one player may achieve it with different partners. The term Grand Slam without qualification refers to winning the four majors in a single calendar year. Winning the four majors in consecutive tournaments but not in the same year is known as a non-calendar year Grand Slam, while winning all four majors at any point during the course of a career is known as a career Grand Slam. Winning the Olympic gold medal in addition to the four majors in a one calendar year is known as a Golden Grand Slam, or more commonly the Golden Slam. Also. Winning the year-end championship in the same period is known as a Super Slam. Together, all four majors in all three disciplines are called a box set of Grand Slam titles. No player has won all 12 events in one calendar year but it has been done by three female players during their careers. Origin of the term Grand Slam The term slam for winning all of the tricks in the Whist family card games is attested from early in the 17th century. Grand Slam for all of the tricks in contrast to small slam or little slam for all but one, dates from early in the 19th century. This use was inherited by Contract Bridge, a modern development of Whist defined in 1925 that became very popular in Britain and America by 1930. Grand Slam has been used in golf since 1930, when Bobby Jones won the four major championships, two British and two American. Although John F. Curran is widely credited with first applying the term Grand Slam to tennis, to describe the winning of all four major tennis tournaments in a calendar year, sports columnist Alan Gould had used the term in that connection almost two months before Curran. History The possibility of being the reigning champion of all the current four majors did not exist until 1924-25, when the International Lawn Tennis Federation designated the Australasian, French, British and American Championship tournaments as the four majors. Before that time only three events, Wimbledon, the World Hard Court Championships and the World Covered Court Championships were considered the premier international tennis events by the ILTF. Tony Wilding of New Zealand won all three of those earlier majors in one year Euro 1913. It has been possible to complete a Grand Slam in most years and most disciplines since 1925. It was not possible from 1940 to 1945 because of interruptions at Wimbledon, the Australian and French Opens due to the Second World War, the years from 1970 to 1985 when there was no Australian tournament in mixed doubles, and 1986 when there was no Australian Open at all. The Grand Slam, the first definitive Grand Slam, of the current four majors, was accomplished when Don Budge won all four men's singles majors in 1938. To date, 17 players have completed a Grand Slam. Of these players, three have won multiple Grand Slams, Rod Laver accomplished the feat twice in men's singles. Margaret Court accomplished the feat three times, in two different disciplines a Euro once in women's singles and twice in mixed doubles. And Esther Vergier completed a Grand Slam twice in women's wheelchair doubles. The four junior disciplines Boys slash girls singles and doubles provide limited opportunities to achieve a Grand Slam. Players are only eligible from age 13 to 18, with 18-year-olds likely to hold a physical advantage. 
only Stefan Edberg has completed the Grand Slam in a junior discipline. Yearly logistics, winners, Grand Slam wins. Grand Slam completion, chronological. Per player, non-calendar year Grand Slam. In 1982 the International Tennis Federation broadened the definition of the Grand Slam as meaning any four consecutive major victories, including the one spanning two calendar years. As defined in the Constitution of the ITF, the Grand Slam titles are the Championships of Australia, France, the United States of America and Wimbledon. Players who hold all four of these titles at the same time achieve the Grand Slam. As this definition differs from the original definition of the Grand Slam as restricted to a single calendar year, there has been some controversy towards this redefinition in the tennis world. Subsequently, the ITF has distanced itself from the 1982 decision, reverting to the traditional calendar year definition, when Martina Navratilova won the 1984 French Open to become the reigning champion of all four women's singles. The ITF awarded her $1 million Grand Slam bonus in recognition of her achievement. However subsequently, the ITF abandoned recognizing non-calendar year Grand Slams. Combining the Grand Slam and non-calendar year Grand Slam, the total number of times that players achieved the feat expands to 18. Lava was the most recent male Grand Slammer even by this more relaxed definition until 2013 but still is the most recent single male Grand Slammer. Todd Woodbridge and Mark Woodford reached the final of the 1997 French Open holding all the other three titles, but lost to Yevgeny Kafelnikov and Daniel Vesk. In singles, Roger Federer in 2006 and 2007 and Novak Djokovic in 2011 repeated this, both ultimately losing the Paris final to Rafael Nadal. Nadal himself was denied from achieving this feat by his own countryman David Ferrer, who defeated him in the quarter-final of the Australian Open 2011, with Nadal previously having won the French Open, Wimbledon and US Open in 2010. Men's doubles, Bob Bryan and Mike Bryan, four consecutive major titles from 2012 US Open to the 2013 Wimbledon. Women's singles, Martina Navratilova, six consecutive major titles from 1983 Wimbledon to US Open 1984. Note. From 1977 to 1985, the Australian Open was held in December as the last major of the calendar year. Steffi Graf, four consecutive major titles from 1993 French Open to the 1994 Australian Open. Serena Williams, four consecutive major titles from 2002 French Open to the 2003 Australian Open. Women's doubles, Pam Shriver and Martina Navratilova. Four consecutive major titles from 1986 Wimbledon to the 1987 French Open. Chichi Fernandez and Natasha Zverevan, six consecutive major titles from the 1992 French Open to 1993 Wimbledon. Natasha Zverevan, four consecutive major titles from the 1996 US Open to 1997 Wimbledon. Serena Williams and Venus Williams. Four consecutive titles from 2009 Wimbledon to the 2010 French Open. Men's wheelchair doubles, Stéphane Howdit, five consecutive titles from the 2009 French Open to 2010 French Open. Women's wheelchair doubles, Esther Vergier and Sharon Woolraven, six consecutive major titles from the 2010 French Open to 2011 Wimbledon. Most consecutive Grand Slam tournament titles, men's singles, six. Don Budge. Women's singles, 6, Maureen Connolly Brinker, 6, Margaret Court. 6, Martina Navratilova. Note, from 1977 to 1985, the Australian Open was held in December as the last major of the calendar year. Men's doubles, team, 7 Ken McGregor and Frank Sedgman, player, 8 Frank Sedgman, women's doubles, team and player. 8 Martina Navratilova and Pam Shriver, mixed doubles, team, 6 Margaret Court and Ken Fletcher, player, 7 Margaret Court, men's wheelchair singles, 13, Shingo Kunida, women's wheelchair singles, 13, Esther Vergier, 7, Esther Vergier, men's wheelchair doubles, player, 5 star copyright Fane Howdit, women's wheelchair doubles, team, 6 Esther Vergier and Sharon Woolraven, player, 14 Esther Vergier, 8 
Estevez year, most consecutive Grand Slam singles finals, men, women, most Grand Slam singles titles in a row, Helen Wills Moody won all 16. Of the Grand Slam singles tournaments she played beginning with the 1924 U.S. Championships and extending to the 1933 Wimbledon Championships. The first 15 of those were won without losing a set. During this period, she won six Wimbledons, four French Championships, and six U.S. Championships. She also won the 1924 Summer Olympics during this period. Moody never entered the Australian Championships. Most Grand Slam mixed doubles titles in a row, Doris Hart won all 13 of the Grand Slam mixed doubles tournaments she played beginning with the 1951 French Championships and extending to the 1955 U.S. Championships. During this period, she won five Wimbledons, three French Championships, and five U.S. Championships. Career Grand Slam The career achievement of all four major championships in one discipline is termed a career Grand Slam in that discipline. Dozens of players have accomplished that and 17 have doubled it, won a second championship in each of the four majors in one discipline. Two or more career championships in all four majors is sometimes called a multiple slam set. Three players have multiple slam sets in two disciplines, one in three disciplines, so 22 players are counted in the table. Their achievements are tabulated below. Seven men and ten women have won career Grand Slams in singles play. Among them two men and four women have at least two CGS in singles. Since the beginning of the Open era, four men and six women have done it. Several singles players have won multiple major championships without achieving the career Grand Slam. Joe Paragraph R.N. Borg never won the U.S. Open or the Australian Open, and John McEnroe never won the Australian Open or the French Open. Ken Rose Wall, Guillermo Villas, Ivan Lendl, Monica Seals, Mats Willander, and Justine Hennin failed to win Wimbledon. Pete Sampras, John Newcomb, Arthur Ashe, Jimmy Connors, Boris Becker. Stefan Edberg, Martina Hingis, and Lindsay Davenport failed to win the French Open. Yvonne Julegon Corley never won the US Open. Helen Wills Moody and Althea Gibson never won the Australian Open. Among active singles players who won multiple championships, neither Andy Murray, Lytton Hewitt nor Venus Williams have won either the Australian Open or the French Open, and Novak Djokovic has not won the French Open. Only six players have completed a CGS in both singles and doubles, one male and five female. Court, Hart and Navratilova are the only three players to have completed a career boxed set, winning all four titles in singles, doubles and mixed doubles. This has never been done by a male player. The remainder of this section is a complete list, by discipline, of all players who have won the career Grand Slam. Players are ordered chronologically by their completion of the slam. Men's singles, seven men have won the four Grand Slam tournaments. Two of the seven men achieved a double career slam. Women's singles, each woman's first wins in the four majors are listed chronologically and their ages upon completion of the slam are given in brackets. Five of the ten women achieved at least a double career slam, led by Steffi Graf's quadruple slam. Men's doubles, at men's doubles, 21 players have won the career slam including 14 who slammed with one partner. The latter are listed first, as seven teams, ignoring any major wins with other partners. Five of the 21 men achieved at least a double career slam at men's doubles, led by Roy Emerson and John Newcomb with triple slams. Women's doubles, at women's doubles, 22 players have won the career slam including 10 who slammed with one partner. Eight of the 22 achieved at least a double career slam at women's doubles, led by Martina Navratilova with seven or more titles in each major. Mixed doubles, at mixed doubles, a total of 15 players have won the career slam, including five who slammed as a pair a euro an odd number because Margaret Court has accomplished a career grand slam separately with Ken Fletcher and Marty Ryerson. The other two of the five are Doris Hart and Frank Sedgman. Also three of the 15 players have accomplished multiple career Grand Slams in mixed doubles, led by Margaret Court's quadruple slam. Boys singles, Stefan Edberg, boys doubles, Mark Kratzman, men wheelchair doubles, 
wheelchair tennis grand slams are possible only in men's doubles and women's doubles. Women wheelchair doubles, wheelchair tennis grand slams are possible only in men's doubles and women's doubles. Golden Slam Tennis was an Olympic sport from the inaugural 1896 Summer Olympics through the 1924 Games, then was dropped for the next 64 years before returning in 1988. As there were only three major championships designated by the International Lawn Tennis Federation before 1925, none of the tennis players who participated in the Olympics between 1896 and 1924 had a chance to complete a Golden Slam. However although it didn't occur, there was a possibility to complete a career Golden Slam by winning the 1920 Olympics or 1924 Olympics plus each of the four Grand Slams, all of which were present from 1925 onwards. The term Golden Slam was coined in 1988. Singles players who won a Golden Slam, Steffi Graf, non-calendar year Golden Slam, winning four consecutive Grand Slam tournaments and Olympic event in the period of 12 months, although not in one year is called non-calendar year Golden Slam. Only Bob and Mike Bryan have achieved this by winning the 2012 Olympics, 2012 US Open, 2013 Australian Open, 2013 French Open and 2013 Wimbledon Championships. After they won the final at Wimbledon, this was coined the Golden Bryan Slam. Career Golden Slam a player who wins all four Grand Slam tournaments and the Olympic gold medal during his or her career is said to have achieved a career Golden Slam. Serena Williams is the only player to have achieved a career Golden Slam in both singles and doubles. Super Slam In 1970, a tournament was created to reunite the top players of the season, being contested in the end of the year. This tournament today is known as ATP World Tour Finals and is the last official competition of the ATP season. Winning the finals, alongside with the four Grand Slams and the Olympic gold medal is nowadays known as completing the Super Slam. But this achievement only became possible since 1988, when tennis returned to the Olympic calendar. No player ever completed the Super Slam in one season. Non-calendar year Super Slam only one player completed the Super Slam in a one-year period, Steffi Graf, career Super Slam. Only a few players completed the Super Slam throughout their career, three major tournament titles in a year, players who have won three of the four Grand Slam tournaments in the same year. Jack Crawford, Lou Hode and Martina Navratilova won the first three events, but lost the last Grand Slam tournament. Crawford, an asthmatic, won two of the first three sets of the 1933 U.S. Championships final against Fred Perry, then tired in the heat and lost the last two sets in the match. Triple Crown, winning singles, doubles and mixed doubles titles at one Grand Slam event is called a Triple Crown. It has become a rare accomplishment in tennis. This is partly because the final match in all three disciplines often takes place concurrently in the same day if not in consecutive days. Doris Hart for example attained her first Triple Crown after playing three Wimbledon final matches held in one single day. Notes: This list excludes the 1909 Triple Triple Crown of Jeanne Matty in the 1920, 1921, 1922 and 1923 Triple Crown wins of Suzanne Lenglen. The French Championship tennis tournament at the time was a domestic competition not recognized as an international major. At the time the major clay court event was the World Hard Court Championships, where Suzanne Lenglen also attained triple championship in 1921 and 1922. Also the 1941 triple championship of Alice Welwes is not listed due to its disputed official status. French championships held in Vichy France from 1941 to 1945 are currently not recognized by FAR copyright DAO copyright Russian for their section as de tennis. Boxed set, another Grand Slam related accomplishment is winning a boxed set of Grand Slam titles a Euro, which is at least one of every possible type of major championship available to a player, the singles, doubles, and mixed doubles at all four Grand Slam events of the year. This has never been accomplished within a year or consecutively across two calendar years. Career boxed set, the career boxed set is winning the same set of all possible Grand Slam titles over the course of an entire career. No male player has won a complete set of all titles. 
men who participate in top elite level singles have played comparatively few doubles, and very few mixed doubles. So far, only three women have completed the box set during their careers. Court is not only unique in having two box sets, but is also unique in the timing of her accomplishments. Her first boxed set was completed before the start of the Open Era, and she is a box set achieved solely within the Open Era. Serena Williams has come closer than any other currently active player to joining this elite group. She has yet to win the mixed doubles at the Australian and French Opens. Prior to Williams, it was Billie Jean King who came close at completing a career boxed set. She only needed the Australian Open women's doubles title and although she reached a final twice, she failed to win the title. Multiple career Grand Slams, of the many players who have managed to win a full set of four majors, there is a small number who have gone on to win all four majors a second or more times. The completion of multiple career Grand Slams, or sometimes called multiple slam sets has been achieved by only 22 unique players up to the end of the 2013 French Open. MSS players can be found in each of the five tennis disciplines, men's or women's singles, men's or women's doubles, mixed doubles. It can also be found in women's wheelchair doubles. Of these, five players have completed MSS in more than one discipline, Roy Emerson, Martina Navratilova, Frank Sedgman and Serena Williams have MSS in two disciplines, Margaret Court has MSS in three disciplines. This table shows each multiple occurrence of a complete MSS for each of the players who have accomplished multiple slams in a particular tennis discipline. The year shown for each of the four majors is the year the particular major win was repeated as part of that player's achievement of their second and third and fourth and fifth through seventh complete slam set of major wins. For example, the fourth row shows that Margaret Court completed her third career slam set in women's singles a Euro winning each of the four majors three to me's a Euro during the 1970 Wimbledon Championships. More specific, she won, Australian Open 11 times, the third in 1962. French Open 5 times, the third in 1969. Wimbledon 3 times, the third in 1970 and finally US Open 5 times the third in 1969. Grey background shades lesser achievements by the same player in the same discipline. Yellow highlights the greatest achievement in the discipline. By discipline, men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, women's doubles, mixed doubles, women's wheelchair doubles, see also. List of Grand Slam related tennis records, notes. ABCDE Wimbledon have never hosted singles tournament for wheelchairs. Notwithstanding year when the US Open did not take place due to date clashes with the Paralympics. References External links, Official website of the Australian Open, Official website of the French Open, Official website of Wimbledon, Official website of the US Open, All Times Grand Slam Tournaments Finals, Reference Book